Hello, it's Joe Lyons, and this video I'm going to talk about libraries with AutoHotKey. Um, what you're going to understand is how to use them, and, and what why you'd use them, and um, how helpful they can be. So, just think about what you know a group of functions that you would are on around the same topic, right? That's why you'd put them into a library, and a library is just a grouping of functions that um, have a similar area right like what you're going to work on um, and then what you do in auto hotkey it's kind of neat instead of having all your functions in different files you can put them in one file and what you do is you put the very first word up to the underscore is going to be that'll be the name of the file so notice here this is explorer.hk and then every function I open to this explorer library um, is going to start with explorer underscore and then get path and then explore underscore get all, explore underscore get selected, right? Every function that is in this file is going to be um, begin with that. And that's what allows you to just use one include command. It'll go through um, and automatically um, import everything there. Um, here's, here's one I wrote for IE. Um, it's really old and probably doesn't work, but I'm... When I was first playing with stuff, I was I was creating functions for doing certain things. So it's IE load, IE nav, IE. Um, I was trying to play with some web scraping stuff, killing it, um, and then the uh, this I think that's for text files, right? Yeah, text file, um, great string manipulation function library. So everything begins with TF underscore, right? Um, and one is it, it also just having it that way helps you remember these are all part of the same type of thing but again it's nice because you can just ha um, point to the library and all your functions are in it and it'll easily um, import them and use them and that's it just a quick overview of how you can use libraries why you'd use them um, it, it's nice because then you put things that are um, similar together and then they um, they're all grouped together uh, for that purpose. Thank you.